stay still with me. Okay, quick update on my loco situation with these uh, cylinders. I've, I've got them all, everything attached now. I've only done the right hand side, the off side at the moment. By doing that, you know where all your tight spots are so you're not getting conflicts with both sides. But I've managed to get it, I managed to get everything connected and it's all running now. It's a little bit tight, but I've got no weight on loco yet, not the full weight anyway. But I will point out a couple of things here for anybody that's just starting on one of these or not as experienced as all the professionals. If you look back at one of my videos, I only had 10mm square bar for my slide bars, which is approximately 20 thou bigger overall than 3 eighths. So that's 10 thou each side on each side. And the clearance under here, under your motion plate here where your slide bar comes through, I've actually had to machine a chamfer, a little step and a chamfer on the slide bar so it misses the conrod. So be aware that when you're doing this, if, you've, if you're not quite adhering to the sizes, well I have deviated because my connecting rods are a little bit wider on the width that way and my slide bar is a little bit wider so on that point there I've had to just tweak it a little bit other than that you know everything's running fine I've not got the valve gear connected yet and I'm not doing that till I've done the other side cylinder and got that everything moving moving free on that so I'm going to move on to the other side now and get the other side done okay quick update I've got the near side cylinder and all its associated cross edge slide bar motion plate etc fitted now all connected up to the piston and I'll I've, it's, it's a, everything's a little bit tight but once I get it, get it onto airline and let it run for a while everything should free up but it's actually moving okay and I've had to modify my little bit of track I've made because I'd used angle iron and with it only having a very thin section and oil dropping on it I couldn't get no traction on wheels to try you know to try and get it moving so I've put wood on and I've just made I've put wood on top of the angle iron just to give it more grip for the time being and everything seems to be moving okay it's just a little bit tight so I'm going to get my valves coupled up get the foot plate back on with the uh, reversing lever and then I'm going to start making some uh, adapters to fit onto my airline. Morning everybody, or good evening, or good afternoon, wherever you are. Yeah, last night I was busy making my pipe work for my airline attachment. And uh, I, wa I was itching to have a go last night, but it was a bit late and I didn't want to keep compressor up at that time. So I've waited while this morning, a bit more daylight coming through the window. And I'm ready to I'm ready to have a try. Bit of excitement and a bit of apprehension. It's been a quite a while coming to get to this point. As you as you can be appreciate, there's a lot a lot of components to make to get to this stage, especially when you're making the boiler as well. Uh, so I'm just going to go around with oil can and give everywhere another second lubrication, and then I'm going to couple my airline up and see what happens. tool so if this goes okay I would imagine my compressor is going to kick in so you may hear compressor noise in the background so 
Let's have a look here then. Oh, I forgot, I haven't got reversing lever in neutral. Fuck it, that surprised me, it first time. I thought I might have had to done a bit of tweaking here and there. Well, I'm off at moon with that. I'm just turning air down a little bit, just to make it run a bit steadier. Right in reverse. Now it's the first time I've done, I've ever done this, so I'm not quite sure if I've got my valve set right. To me they sound okay, it sounds pretty even. I think it needs a bit too much done. It's just a bit tight, isn't it? Well, I'm really over the moon with that, I'm really pleased. I think what I'm going to do next then, I'm going to attach the axle pump so I, so I can then give it a run with the axle pump on. I, don't, I didn't want to attach too many items at once because uh, if anything's wrong, it's too many conflicts going off. So I think that'll be my next video, putting the axle pump on. And finishing the actual pump off. I've got to make the piston for that yet. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on my next video then. Bye for now then.